In a time of galactic civil war, with the Empire's tyranny growing tighter, this ship was a shining light in the dark to those who still clinged to liberty and the old republic. Today is May the 4th. Today, we celebrate one of the most beloved instruments of liberation and one of the finest starfighters ever created. The Incom T-65 X-Wing, the right arm of the free galaxy. Incom is a household name today recognized by many because of the X-Wing's success during the Civil War era. Founded in 232 BBY during the Galactic Republic, it became well known for its supply of Z-95 Headhunters and ARC-170 Starfighters to the Republic Navy during the Clone Wars. With the rise of the Galactic Empire and end to the Clone Wars, Incom was approached to make a new fighter to replace the earlier Clone Wars era vintage craft. But when they developed the X-Wing and proposed it, it was rejected in favor of the TIE Fighter, which was much more cheaper. With the rise of the Rebel Alliance orchestrated by Senator Mon Mothma and a lot of unused, expensive starfighters sitting in its yards, Incom was more than happy to provide secret fealty to the new movement and begin supplying both the Rebel Alliance and other groups, such as Saw Gerrera's insurgents, with the T-65B. Compared against contemporary crafts such as the A-Wing, which had been used in some early Rebel groups such as Phoenix Squadron, or the more rarer Y-Wing, the X-Wing was an almost perfect blend of mobility, survivability, and firepower. Powered by four in-house 4L4 fusel thrust engines, the X-Wing could achieve a flat-out speed of 100 megalite units per second in space, or 1,050 kilometers per hour in atmosphere. Maximum acceleration was rated for 3,700 Gs, which for a craft weighing 10 tons is impressive. With an astromech droid, the X-Wing could also make use of a Class I hyperdrive built by Cohen Sayer, the same company behind the Y-Wing. Defense came in the form of the Sempat Defender Shield Projector, and a titanium alloy armored hull, making the X-Wing suitably tanky for a fighter of its size, though not as rugged as the venerable Y-Wing. Armament consisted of four Taman back KX-9 laser cannons, which the X-Wing was the first to use. An additional armament came in the form of the Krupp MG-7 Proton Torpedo Launcher, with a total of six rounds. The X-Wing also included a countermeasure suite for jamming enemy sensors made by Bertriac. For targeting and fire control, the X-Wing had the Fabrotech K. Blaken mini sensor for checking its six, and the Carabanti transceiver package, which was a trio of various sensors that covered conventional, electro-optical, and electromagnetic spectrums in the forward field of view. Powering all of this was the Novel Dex 04Z cryo power plant used in the X-Wing and X-Wing alone. Perhaps the most significant feature of the X-Wing is its S-foils, allowing it to attain its signature silhouette, but also giving it the practical benefit of providing better convergence for its four laser cannons at the end of each wing. Covering all of it, the historical battles and events the X-Wing was in would probably take the rest of my natural lifespan. The X-Wing was in practically every single fight the Rebel Alliance found itself in, being frontline and center every time and rarely shying away from a scuffle with Imperial forces. It was there when Rogue One stole the plans for the Death Star at the Battle of Scarif. It flew in defense of Yavin 4 and destroyed the Death Star at the hands of Luke Skywalker. It battled over Hoth and helped evacuate the Rebel base personnel. And flew over Endor against the second Death Star. It also flew over Jakku, Lothal, and countless other worlds helping the Rebel Alliance whittle away at the Empire's control until it fell and the New Republic was established. Though after the Civil War it was retired in favor of the T-70 X-Wing, an improvement made with the lessons learned from the T-65, there are today some still in service with any number of fringe groups, either deep in the periphery where T-70s and T-85s are harder to get, in collector's hands flying them for fun, or militia units who got them cheap from surplus and know of their ability. The X-Wing was the perfect tool to restore liberty to an uncivilized, tyrannical time, and continues to safeguard our galaxy to this day. Happy May the 4th, everyone.